In this tutorial, you'll get an insight on text animation, transition, blending, and camera effects. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, and if this helped you guys out, let me know in the comments below. Flexition. What is up guys, it's your boy Flexion, coming at you from Share Factory, brought to you by Flexision on PlayStation. Alright guys, so I got a sample text ready for us to edit. We're going to go over text animations in this segment. So there are three segments in this video, as you guys already know. We're going to get started. So you see how we have our sample text right there in the middle? It looks kind of plain, right? So what we're going to do is uh, spice it up. <clears throat> so what you gotta do is, <clears throat> sorry guys, edit the overlay, and you can transform it. I'm gonna go through and make it big for you guys so you can see, you know, clearly what's going on here. So it's sitting there playing. So what you wanna do is make it you know, stand out. So I'm gonna choose a color that stands out to you guys and give it a that. So if you wanna pizzazz it up a little bit, go to text effects. Choose any effect that you want, you know, anyone that's, you know, pleasing to your eye and anything that you will find anyone else catch appealing to the eye. So what I usually go with is anything that stands out. I like this one right here because it's nice and simple and it's, it's easy to edit, you know what I'm saying? So I want to go with this one right here. And you can leave it as that, but what you can do as well to make it have the shadow effect is you can have the same text. So I'll go through and add the same text in so you guys see what I'm talking about. Sample. So this is a sample text. Alright. <clears throat> what I like to do is, you know, make it at least the same size. It, it has to be a little bit smaller though, so it gives it that shadow effect. Alright. And I usually take the layer order and switch it so that way that's in the background. And as you can see, it has that effect that I've been talking to you about. You know. I like to transform it a little bit, line it up, you know, do what you can to make it look as good as possible. So, I'm going to go through and edit the size a little bit. And then, bam, just like that. So, we started off with just a simple plain text, and now look at it. Sample. Alright, but there's much more to it than that. We can take the text, and we can take the, well, we can take that text animation and choose how we want the text to come in and out of a clip. So these are a few samples of what I'll do. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with fly in because I like the way it comes through. So we're gonna go do this to both texts so that way the text itself looks like it's just one whole thing. You know what I mean? We're gonna connect everything. So I'm gonna go through and scroll up to the first text. Text animation, fly in. Okay, so let's run it back and see how this all comes. Bam, sample. Just like that. That's pretty much how you make it look, you know, good, decent. Uh, you could explore different ways on how to make your text come in and out. We just chose this one because it was simple and I just, I, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with a little simplicity. So take that sample text, for example, and then, you know, do what you can with your text when you go through to edit your videos. <clears throat> so that's how you go through and make it fade in and everything. I'm gonna go through and show you some more text animations here. We're gonna go through and use a different text though because I don't wanna have to edit both texts at the same time just to get to the point to what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna just start off right here with another sample text of course. We'll choose a different font this time though. I like this one right here. Alright, so we're gonna go through with another sample text. All right. I don't want you guys to look at just this white plane, so I'm just gonna go to and color it again, make it yellow. Text effects, I'll make it look pretty, so let's do it like this. All right. All right, and again, I'm gonna uh, you know, edit the size for you guys, make it bigger. Okay, so let's get to the animation. Edit over there. Okay, so the text animation, we went through the beginning. I'm gonna go with wipe in because it's clean. 
You can also add a middle animation. Let's say that you want a message, you know, to send to somebody, tell them what to do, or tell them that you want them to subscribe or whatever. You know, you can make it stand out by going with these middle animations. And what this does is that it'll just make your text stand out. You know, it gives your text an animation throughout the middle of the uh, text duration because I know it doesn't sound like I know what I'm talking about right now because I'm just going on. But uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like when you just let it run. So you see how it sits there? You get your, you know, your first animation fades in. And then you see the rainbow effect that it has on it. That's your middle animation right there. For the middle. All right. And then your ending matters because, I mean, depending on how you want your clip, you know, it can just disappear like that. But if you add an ending animation, you can have it fade away as well. I like using fade out or wipe out. It's usually best to choose the same animation as what you started with in the beginning. So that way your text is clean and it has the same animation and it's like, you know, not random. So let's check this out. Fades in, get your middle animation here, and then it fades out. Just like that. That pretty much covers this segment of text and animation. Uh, if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below. We're going to go through and move on with our next segment here. Alright, so as you guys can see, we have a few clips here that are ready to edit. I've got clips that are different colors, just so I can show you guys the difference between the transition and blending. I want to make it to where you guys don't even notice the blend, because the transition will just come through so well. It'll just, you know, look so appealing. So check out these four colors and how they blend. This is what the clips look like without any transition. I mean, you already know. It just comes through and it just pops in, you know what I mean? So we're going to add a transition to make it fade. Crossfade. I love going to crossfade because it blends in so well. So we're going to add the transition of crossfade to all of these. And just crossfade. All right. And then crossfade. So I'm going to shorten the clips just so you guys can see how well this blends in so i'm gonna make it about yay short yay short yay short this one kind of has to be shorter i'm gonna make them shorter hold on sorry guys <laughs> make it shorter all right so oh this should give you guys like an idea on what i'm trying to talk about Okay, so check this out. I know this one's a little long. Let's clip this one too. Alright. I should have been had that ready. So check out how well this blends in together and just, you know, everything. Just, look at that. Amazing. So all you have to do here is just get your clip and just add, add a transition to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go through and split this clip right here. We can start off from scratch so I, you guys can see how, you know, the blending and transitioning comes into play. So I'm going to go through and change the color of this clip right here. Add filter, colorize. I'm just going to change the color to something simple. Oh shit. Uh, edit filter. Filter settings. I'm going to make it. Again. I know it's an ugly color. <laughs> so I'm going to trim it. So, you know. Look at that. Boom. So we're gonna run it back again. Add a filter. No, not filter. Add a transition. If I can find it. Oh my god. There we go. And then I'm crossfade. And then you see how it just blends nicely? So you can go through and choose any transition you want to for your clips as long as you blend it nicely. Like I know crossfade is a nice blending transition. Because it just, like I said, fades over so well. And, I mean, there's nothing much to it, really. That's just, just how I blend my clips and everything. I pick a transition of my choice. And then I make sure that it goes well with uh, the next clip that I'm going into. This pretty much covers the whole segment on blending and transitioning. If you guys want to get more details on this, I can go through and make a specific video on how to just do the transitioning and whatnot and you know get more in depth with it but that covers this segment here so we're gonna go through and focus on our next segment which is camera effects
All right, so we're here with the three images that I'm gonna go through and use the camera effects on. These are just sample images. Uh, you'll you'll be seeing these logos in the future when the time of year comes around. Anyway, all you have to do is add overlay. Choose any camera effects that you like. You can go through and test them out. For this one here, I'm gonna go through and go with the what the tone is this? This one. All right, I'm gonna go with the heartbeat. All right. So just like the stickers and whatnot, you can add the time duration to as long as you want to. Uh, I haven't really messed with this too much, but I'm guessing that if we pinpoint it to where you want it, it'll emphasize the effect on that part of the screen. So for this, we're just going to have it in the middle. I'm going to increase the size just so I can get more of the effect. And I'll leave it as that. Alright, we're going to add another overlay here with the camera effects. And we're going to do focus. I want to do three different types of camera effects so that you guys can get an idea on what difference you can do in these camera effects. And then for here, we're gonna go with uh, let's go with let's go with drift because you know there's a little witch in the background. You can see a little witch flying around. It'll be fun. Okay. So that's pretty much how you do the camera effects. We're gonna go through and watch it play out. So this is this is what they look like once you put them in effect. You know, it pulses. This one in and out, and then this one right here drifting. Nice, and depending on how long your clip is or whatnot, you can trim it. You can stack them too. Like I said, I haven't really messed with that. I've used it probably once throughout my whole career, but I'll be messing with this a lot more, you know, stack them up and whatnot. But that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, there's nothing much to it until I mess around with this a lot more. And that concludes our three part video of Intro to Share Factory number nine. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If this helped you out, be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments below. If there's anything that you want to add or help me with anything, let me know as well because I'm pretty sure that there are others out there who use Share Factory. This video will be added to the Intro to Share Factory playlist. Until next time guys. I'll see you in the next one.